Happy December, Chris. Welcome back. Yeah, yeah, totally. Stoked to be back. Yeah, man. Give us a quick update. You've been here two weeks. You're coming back probably February, March with a whole bunch of awesomeness. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, we got uh, 10 athletes and four families coming in February. So we're completely uh, packed up. So it's working, the families. You yes. Got, you were aiming for families in yes. the group trips. Yes. Uh, Family centric is the approach that we've taken at Gnome. So uh, pretty excited. And we have more and more families that, that ask us to come. So we're pretty much booked for like the next two years as far as it comes when we're out here. We've taken 10 athletes here up until now. Okay. So people have witnessed the magic here in, in Nosara. So it's not that difficult to get convince someone to come out here to paradise and, and you know, do some surf therapy and everything else that Nosara has to offer. So. Uh, you, it's it's amazing the amount of people that actually want to come out here without knowing much about what we have going on, but it's uh, I'm grateful for that. Well, hey, it's catching on here. The first couple of podcasts we did, it, that's exactly what we thought it would be. And I told you, it's like, hey, Nosara is going to accept this once it gets to know you and sees you're authentic and once you're consistent. Nosara, like a lot of people come in and push hard on it to implement good ideas and things, but the harder you push on Nosara, it kind of it pushes back equally as hard um, and you've been through the early parts of coming down no i'm not opening a surf camp that's competing with surf camp no i'm not taking jobs like that was the initial thought on you so i want to tip my hat to you for making it through those initial hard parts and i was rooting for you uh yeah. but I, I i just I'll, I'll say it publicly i know what you were going through that wasn't easy there was a lot of sleepless nights and some tears and feelings being hurt and I just want to tell you, it's worked. Like the right people know about you. So I think your future here is pretty bright if you just keep going. Yeah, I mean, we're only trying to help, you know, our athletes from back home and, and also the local community. Last year when we were here, we helped uh, do a local camp. We're here today with Costa Rica Para Surfing Team, uh, kind of helping out in the water and, and letting them use our boards as well. That's what we're here for. We're here to just support. I'm not here to actually even make money at all. I just want to help the best that I can for the kids in the community that can, can use our help. Who wouldn't like that? Nor, I, a lot of the challenges, I mean, outside of accommodations is transportation and the bumpy roads and also making sure your athletes are safe and a new country with like, it's a, you were carrying a big weight, man. Yeah, um, still carrying a big weight, but uh, I'm grateful for, to be the guy that's chosen to actually do it. I, th I think your hard part of emotion is over. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> that's for sure. Thanks for hanging in there, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, once it once it caught, it caught. So, uh, can we talk about the local kids and yeah, and area here? Yeah. Now that you have the momentum, can I suggest let's find an accelerated to get keep getting deeper, especially into the Tico populace, yep. and also getting the other kids to volunteer and help, and getting kids who speak different languages interacting and surfing because then they'll learn fast. And surfing conveys so much emotion. Uh, I would love for you to pick up your presence here and teach other people from here to do what you're doing and let it keep growing while you're gone and let us keep pounding the drum because surfing, you're changing lives and it's working. Yep. But there's only one of you. Exactly. And, and that's what we've done so well back home. Uh, I, it started with me and now we have over 50 uh, plus trained surf instructors over five beaches. Uh, a few different states that we're currently surfing in. Nice. We did over 5,000 sessions this year alone back home, uh, which is the fastest growing surf therapy organization in the world. I'm headed here to Puerto Rico to present at the International Surf Therapy Organization Conference on our approach to building community. And I would love to do that here. We started a new Salty Moms crew back home for Caretaker Wellness, which was completely sold out. Uh, we start a junior instructor program for our athlete siblings. Okay. And I think that's something that I like to bring here to train the local community on how to do surf therapy, just to get kids in the community and more people here access to it. So what would help you to. get there? Would it be just introductions, you know, like meeting the right people where we can facilitate, um, bringing the local kids to the beach here and giving them a tangible tool to to take into the future, like surf therapy. We're, we're a US-based organization, right? So I think the, the trust factor sometimes is not there with the local community. So we need people who can uh, kind of bridge those gaps so we can support. We have all the equipment, we have uh, volunteers that wanna come out here, and we also wanna train people to do what we do. So just help bridging those gaps and, and 
and helping us expand here with the local community is something that we direly need. Okay, so funding, administration, somebody to pull the nuts and bolts together. You need, you need some people down here to do the behind the scenes stuff so they don't have to surf. It's not about physicality. Someone can, well, obviously do donations keep you going, For sure. but people can physically get involved by phone calls and connections. And this is how it works in Costa Rica. Yeah, just, just kind of setting us up with the right people, right? We're here to support a majority of, of the costs. We obviously need some funding from some people who are interested in trying to de develop this, but uh, we're here, we have our equipment, We, you know what I mean? So it doesn't take much more than just passion and we have a lot of that. And, and for me, there's nothing that makes me happier than helping kids. And I don't want to just be one of those guys that comes here and, and uses up the resources and the land. I want to truly help the local community. And that's not just cliche. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. So it's just opening up those avenues to help create those opportunities for, for everyone involved. Okay, so if somebody wants to make a donation, maybe they can't help with some of this other stuff. How do they do that? You can go right to our website, gnomesurf.com, click the donate button, they'll come right to us. Um, and that's basically the way to do it. So gnome, gnome. Yeah. Would say it again, gnomesurf.com? Gnomesurf.com. <laughs> to Chris, it's awesome to hear what's going on. Thanks for finally accepting Gnome Surf here in the community, everyone. And um, we just wanna, you know, further along the cause and make it something truly special that we can offer to the community and, and anyone who wants to partake in surf therapy. Uh, we've done the research, over 98% of our kids are feeling happier, over 93% of them are feeling more self-confident. Um, we've started caretaker wellness groups for moms, uh, which is pretty magical. We're gonna be starting for dads too, called Rad Dads. So we'll have Rad Dads and Salty Moms. And then we also have our girls team, the Good Vibes Tribe, and then uh, our, starting our boys team called Sons of Poseidon. Uh, <laughs> so we're, we're totally stoked and, and we just want to do whatever we can to help the local community as well. That's too much, man. Thank yeah. you for being you, yeah, dude. I, that's so freaking cool. And thank you for right now, I guess, officially extending the invitation for Noam to come deeper into the community. Right now, what you're asking for is people to help up in any capacity, from funding to volunteering to whatever. Any connections. Okay, and that goes from surf schools to local attorneys to Everybody. even somebody who just wants to help. True. Thanks, dude. Thank you.